All right, so we are going to take a look at constructions, and we're going to do that on Delta Math. Now, Delta Math has one of the best compass and straight edge tools that, that I've run into. And, and let me show you how to use a compass and a straight edge. And actually, before we do that, let's talk about what are constructions? What's a compass? What's a straight edge? Okay, so let's start with constructions. Constructions are a geometry activity where we take a circle and a straight line maker, okay, so we'll call it a straight edge, and we copy or create different geometric items, okay? So, so look at this particular example. This is oftentimes the first construction that you do, and it's called copy a segment. And what our goal is, using a circle and a straight line maker, we want to take this segment here and make a second segment that's congruent. It doesn't necessarily have to be going the same direction, it just needs to be the same size. Now, a lot of students go, well, why can't I just use a ruler and I can measure that one and then measure the other one? Well, the whole idea of constructions is not that uh, we're just trying to take the shortest route to getting somewhere because we could measure it and we could make a congruent segment that way, but we want to do it using only something that makes circles and only something that makes lines, not necessarily something that measures, okay? So we're not really doing a lot of measuring, we're just doing a lot of circles and constructions of lines. So your compass is a tool that makes circles and let me show you how to use it here. So I'm gonna start at A and notice I'm gonna drag this out, okay? Notice how this is making a circle of different sizes. I'm gonna drag it out to B here, okay? Now that I've let go, notice it, it keeps the circle here, and if I wanted to draw the circle, I'm gonna move off of this point B somewhere here, and notice it gives me a pencil, and I can kind of sketch this out here if I want to. Now, for this particular construction, you don't necessarily have to draw that segment right there, but you can if you want to, okay? So the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your circle, and you're gonna dry it, drag it out just like this. So it starts on one part of the segment, ends on the other part of the segment. Your second step is we're going to take this circle, and I, again, I'm choosing the one that I started with, the A, okay? And I'm gonna drag it over here to A prime, okay? So now I've got a circle with the same size. I've kept the size of the circle, okay? And I, again, be careful not to move this point. If you move this point, you gotta start over, okay? So we're going to draw, draw again, you could draw the whole circle if you want to, but you really only need to, need to have an arc here, okay? So remember that the radius of a circle is the same distance no matter where it's from on the circle just as long as it's going back to the center so in this case i could draw this arc here and that's part of a circle and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this segment so segment ray and line those are all straight line tools so i'm going to use this segment here and i'm going to go from a and i'm going to drag it out to any point notice it's the same length even though it's going in different directions okay any point on here and then that is going to be the copy of my line segment. This segment right here is the same length as my original segment. And let's double check our answer. And there we go, okay? So uh, this has been showing you, this is a video on showing you how to copy a segment using the construction tools in Delta Math.